Hey St. Michaels, it's MC here with yet another episode of State Review. I hope everyone's finishing off this year great. I hope everyone's feeling well and safe. So first we're going to start off with Lily Peter and Lucy Fuselier showing us how to make loafers. Hey Crusaders, welcome back to another DIY. Today me and my colleague Lily Peter will be making shoes out of bread. Thanks Lucy and Lily, those definitely seem multi-purpose. <laughs> now here's Jeremy McMahon with this week's sports update. Crusader Nation, welcome back to another edition of the Crusader Sports Report. I'm Jeremy McMahon. On the diamond, your Crusader baseball team ended the regular season with a loss to Antonian Prep, but still had a very strong overall and district record. Your Crusaders were 19-5 overall and 10-0 in district play, clinching yet another district title for the Crusader baseball program. On the golf course, Georgia Hernandez and Caroline White will look to bring a state title back to Austin for the first time in school history as they head to Cottonwood Creek Golf Course in Waco. We send our best wishes to Coach Franklin Hudson and his team. On the track, your Crusaders ran all over their competition at the TAPS 5A North Regional in Argyle. They had 16 athletes move on to state. They then continued that success at state in Waco, with Sion Carr placing fifth in shot put, Matthew Gilby placing third in shot put, and Ja Griffin placing second in discus. In the 4x4, the team of Gabriel Estrada, Xander Romero, Joe Eichhorst, and Jack Esparza got third place. Congratulations to all the track and field athletes on a successful season. Your Crusader swim team had several athletes get all-state honors. Congratulations to Mia Bannon, Gabrielle Bliss, Kaverly Dale, Evelyn, Fu Evelyn Felizier, and Lucy Felizier. Congratulations to Coach Ian Cross and the members of the Crusader swim team on a successful showing at the state meet. That's all for this week in athletics. And go Crusaders. Thanks, Jeremy. Now to everyone's favorite segment, Seder on the Street, with Jack Esparza and Cole Zimmerman. Welcome back to another Seder on the Street. I'm so sorry I missed it last week. I know it's terrible. I know y'all won't forgive me. Oh, we asked our seniors where they're going to college. Cole, where are you going to college? Tell America where you will be going to school next fall. I'll be taking my talents to Texas A&M yeah. University in the fall. Hey, good. <laughs> My name is Max. I'm going to the University of Arkansas, and I'm excited to go out of state and meet new people. I'm going to Texas A&M, and I'm excited to study engineering and go to football games. Hello, my name is Griffin Hahn. I'm going to San Houston State, and I'm most excited to get away from my parents. Hi, I'm Jordan. I'm going to Texas A&M, and I'm excited to meet new people. Hi, I'm Joe. I'm going to DePaul University, and I'm excited to leave Texas and kind of be on my own. I'm Ashley, I'm going to the University of Arkansas, and I'm excited, excited to do stuff like my own way. Yeah. Hi, uh, I'm Peter, I'm going to Gonzaga, and I'm excited because they have a really good basketball team, and uh, you know, it's really far away from Texas, so I get to experience some new stuff. Thanks, Colin Jack. Now here's senior Joe Eichhorst giving us a movie review over the movie Jojo Rabbit. Hello Crusaders and welcome back to another movie review. Today I'm going to talk about the anti-hate satire Jojo Rabbit. Jojo Rabbit takes place in World War II and is centered around Jojo, who is a young kid who is infatuated with Hitler who also happens to be his imaginary friend. And Jojo grew up in Germany and has been heavily affected by the propaganda and dogma of the time. But it is obvious that even though he wants to be a Nazi, he doesn't quite fit the mindset. He isn't a cold-hearted killer, but actually a very thoughtful and caring boy. All of a sudden, his, this mindset gets tested when he actually comes face to face with a young Jewish girl who is hiding in his home, who his mother hid in his home. And out of fear of the consequences that his mother might face for hiding a Jew, he decides to keep it a secret. After spending time with this young girl, Jojo realizes that she isn't this demon that he was raised to hate and that it's actually just a regular person just trying to survive. Jojo Rabbit, though, is a film that celebrates life and is a wonderful, heartfelt comedy that can be really sad at times, 
but is a film that shows how the power of love can break even the worst of evils. Thanks, Joe. No pun intended. Everyone should go watch Jojo Rabbit. Now here is Sydney Osgood talking to Abby Moran about this year's lacrosse season. Hello, I'm here with junior Abby Moran, a captain on the lacrosse team who is committed to Jacksonville for lacrosse. Abby, as a captain, what do you work to instill most on your underclassmen teammates? Um, something we try to focus mainly on is playing as a team and not individuals and hard work and dedication throughout our practices. And I think that's what led us this far this season. That's awesome. You've been playing club and school lacrosse for years now. How has lacrosse shaped you as a person? Um, I would say it mainly shaped me as a person and it taught me how to work hard and like work for what you want in life and just not let anything happen and nothing's given. So just kind like of work hard and see where you end up pretty much. For sure. And finally, what are y'all looking to do at the state tournament and how have y'all been preparing? Would you say there's a possibility for a win? Um, we've been preparing hard during practices the past few weeks after the championship, the district championship after we lost. We've been working hard after that kind of coming for revenge, wanting to win state. So we're going to go to Houston this weekend, try to try to win our games, do our best, and hope we come out with a state championship. Awesome, Abby. Thanks for your time, and make sure to wish these ladies a good luck before they head off to Houston. Go Crusaders. That's all we have for this week. Thanks, everyone, for tuning in to this episode of Seder View. Go Seders.